Beatles songs. Oh, I, 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 can, I couldn't give you one Beatles song really? right now. Really? Off the top of my head. Wow. I could wow. not. It's because right. he's so young. I yes, grew up in Memphis. I'm an Elvis guy. All right. All right. Fair, enough. Fair, enough. Fair enough. Dear Prudence, just for the record. <laughs> okay. And the, the gifts keep on coming. You're looking live. Right here. NORAD, Santa Tracker. That is it. The man of the hour flying near the Solomon Islands right now. Already he has delivered hundreds of millions of gifts this morning. We understand in a breaking news report. <laughs> Santa, don't forget my house. He won't. Uh, we also have the gift of music this morning, and it's not the Beatles, don't worry. Uh, <laughs> it's the New York City Children's Chorus singing Jingle Bells for us. They're going to be performing for us all morning. Yeah, Larry? they sound great, but we do want to begin with Madonna locked in a custody battle this morning. The pop star fighting in court with her ex-husband, Guy Ritchie, getting a court order to force their 15-year-old son, Rocco, to come home to her for the holidays. ABC's Lindsay Janice has the story. Overnight, Madonna expressing herself in a New York City courtroom, asking a judge to enforce the return of her teenage son from London, where he's been visiting her ex-husband, Sherlock director Guy Ritchie. What? 15-year-old Rocco, whom they shared custody of, reportedly doesn't want to live with his mom, preferring to stay with his dad in the UK. But Manhattan judge Deborah Kaplan granted Madonna's request. The megastar seen leaving court Wednesday. The judge ordering Rocco to return to the U.S. The teen will reportedly get his own court-appointed attorney, allowing him to make a request to live with his father if he still wants to. The queen of pop, who's in the middle of her Rebel Heart World Tour, reportedly just spent Thanksgiving in Barcelona with Rocco and 10-year-old son David, whom she adopted with Richie in 2006. Madonna and Richie divorced back in 2008, ending their seven-year marriage. Richie since remarrying model Jackie Ainsley, with whom he has three children. Richie was not in court, but his attorney, according to the Daily News, telling the judge that Rocco does not want to return to New York. ABC News has reached out to both Madonna and Richie. Neither has responded. For Good Morning America, Lindsay Janice, ABC News, New York. All right, thank you, Lindsay. And we want to get more on this case with Nancy Grace, host of Nancy Grace on HLN. Good morning to you, Nancy. This does not sound like a Merry Christmas for anyone involved. What do you make of this case? Well, you know, it's easy to take pot shots at Madonna. Everybody wants to bring up her sex book, but newsflash, that was back in the 90s before she had children. Um, everyone wants to suggest she's a bad mother, but this may be a case of a 15-year-old boy rebelling mm -hmm. against living with a controlling mother. But what 15-year-old boy doesn't think his mother is controlling? Right. Now, granted, apparently he's tired of touring with Madonna. He toured with her on Rebel Heart. He toured with her years ago in the MDNA tour. He may be sick of that. For all I know, he's got a girlfriend in London. But if this is not hammered out between the two parents, this could go all the way to an international court at The Hague. So, Nancy, for now, they, the court has sided with Madonna. Will this impact the custody in the big picture? I don't think it will impact the custody in the big picture. And many people function under the myth that there is a magical age at which the child, a minor under the age of 18, can pick to live with one parent or the other. That is not necessarily true. At age 16, in most jurisdictions, you can be emancipated. You know, think about Macaulay Culkin, all right? That's an example of being emancipated. But the court very rarely lets a child choose who they're going to live with. They they take into account what is the best interest of the child. Now, we may guess that Guy Ritchie has more of a stable domestic life, but we don't know that. Uh, we'll find out as it all unfolds. There's going to be a court hearing on February the 3rd, and the court, for now, that's Justice Deborah Kaplan in Manhattan Supreme Court, has told the boy he must return home and talk to Madonna face to face if he has any hope of ever living with his father. Yeah, all right. Nancy, I just hope for their sake they think about 
that he's still a little boy. Don't judge Madonna on her sex book, okay? No, I agreed. No. That's a great final point. Nancy Grace, we thank you. <laughs> Dan? Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Nance. I agree. Great final point. Um, with so, let's switch gears a little bit here. With so many people rushing to the stores today, the ATMs of America will be humming with activity, dispensing cash for last-minute gifts. But this morning, we're getting a glimpse of what could be the future new technology that would render your ATM card a relic. ABC's Gio Benitez is here with more. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Dan. Good morning, Lara. You really won't believe your eyes. Or maybe I should say you won't believe what your eyes can do. And that's because your cornea may become your next debit card. Agent confirmed. It's Welcome like a back. scene out of Mission Impossible. But biometrics are no longer the future. They're here. Citibank giving GMA an exclusive look inside at City Innovation Lab, where they are in the early stages of testing this high-tech ATM that uses your eyes, not a card, to verify your identity. We are always looking for innovations that will bring simplicity to your life. Diebold, the maker of the ATM, shows us how it works. Please present your eyes. Okay. This is very 007. First, you must register your eyes. Then, you simply schedule transactions through a mobile banking app. Let's say you wanted $60, mm -hmm. and you'd say OK. And when you arrive at the ATM... Just identify yourself, get your money. Uh, there's no more card, there's no more pin, no more paper receipt. When it comes to cardless ATMs, Bank of America says it is also testing them, and JP Morgan says it already plans to roll some out in late 2016. Use your fingerprint and enter your pin. Citibank says this new technology makes your bank account even more secure. The iris scan. It is the second most reliable marker in your body behind the DNA. It may seem silly, but when people are thinking of iris scans, they're going to be thinking of grabbing an eyeball and putting it in front of a machine. That can happen. That here. cannot happen. No pictures, no videos, no No eyeballs. eyeballs. <laughs> Cybersecurity experts agree. It will add security by uh, providing a level of uniqueness that just doesn't exist with simple passwords. But the Electronic Frontier Foundation says there could still be vulnerabilities if an unauthorized person is able to hack into a system where your biometrics are stored. Again, this technology is not out yet. It's still being tested. Citibank says it's important they get it right before it launches. In fact, they don't even know yet when it's going to be released, but I kind of want it now. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. Very, it's an unbelievable bit of technology. Yeah. Gio, thank you so Thanks, much. Gio. And we want to say uh, we have so much more coming up, correct? From ATM cards to gift cards, the secrets on how to get the best deals on those popular plastic presents. And then the ultimate Christmas surprise, this woman's family gave her a life-changing gift. Wait until <laughs> Look you at see that. what it was. You don't want to miss it. <laughs> <laughs> Spill something.